Hey everyone, it's Paul here, and if you've ever tried to paint golden oak cabinets, you know you got two challenges. One, the color tends to bleed through, and no matter how many coats of paint you put on it, you get, the, you get that old color bleeding through. And two, even worse, is that that grainy oak just continues to kind of radiate through and it looks like something that a bear tried to claw his way through no matter how many coats of paint you put on it. I've got a great process, three steps, to get a professional looking result when you're painting your golden oak cabinets. I'm gonna take you out to the shop now and show you how I do it. Step one is to fill the grain. I'm using a golden oak cabinet shelf for my sample with very typical coarse grain. That grain would stick out like a sore thumb when you start applying paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply some Aqua Coat white grain filler. To prep the surface, wipe down with a cloth dampened with mineral spirits, then sand lightly with 150 grit abrasive. When you're sanding inside your home, it really pays to have a good dust extraction system with your sander. You might also consider using a dust containment system, and I'll include a link down below to the one that I use. Remove surface dust with a tack cloth, and use a vacuum or compressed air to remove dust from the pores to ensure good adhesion. Very important step. You want to apply the Aquacoat grain filler with a plastic Bondo knife or similar tool. You don't want to use metal here because it can scratch your surface. Apply by smearing across the grain using your Bondo knife, getting as much material as possible into the pores. The grain filler dries quickly, so work in just a small area at a time and don't overwork the material. Then after all the pores have been filled and the grain filler is still wet, use your Bondo knife to remove as much excess as possible. You don't want any buildup on the surface because that will lead to more sanding time. I'm going to apply grain filler to half of the shelf so that you can see the dramatic difference in the surface finish when I'm all done. I've used other products for filling grain, but the reason that I've standardized on Aquacoat is because it's an acrylic product rather than clay based, which makes it much easier for application and sanding, less messy application, better adhesion, and a better paintable surface that is less prone to cracking. I've also found it to have much better shelf life compared to other products that I've used. After the first coat is dried, for an hour or more, lightly sand with 220 grit paper, then wipe off any dust to prepare for a second coat. The directions say to apply two to three coats, and I've typically found that two coats is adequate with an occasional spot fill after a second coat. After your second coat is applied, Shine some good lighting on it and look at it from various angles to be sure that the surface is level. The surface won't be glossy smooth just yet. That will be the job of your paint, but the surface should not have any small craters remaining, so look carefully. If any spots remain, hit them with one more coat of filler. I found one area in this project that needed some more grain filler, and I could have just hit that one spot, but I decided to recoat the entire surface because it's small in case there are any other small spots that I wasn't seeing. Let your final coat dry overnight or longer, then lightly sand just before applying your primer. Step two is to apply a good quality primer. Use Kills oil-based primer or similar to be sure that you block all of the tannins in the oak. I've tried using water-based primer and sometimes it covers and sometimes you'll see dark spots peeking through even after a third coat. So you're better off just starting with oil-based primer from the beginning. Apply two coats of primer using Purdy, White Dove or similar high quality roller and then lightly sand after the second coat has dried thoroughly using a 220 grit abrasive. Step three, of course, is to paint. Apply two to three coats of a high quality enamel paint using the same type of roller that you used for the primer step. My favorite paint to use for cabinets is Bare Premium Cabinet Door and Trim Enamel because it flows out so well, which means that it's self-leveling. And because it's enamel paint, it provides a nice durable finish. 
Don't try to skimp on paint because you want it to flow nicely and not leave any roller or brush marks behind. Okay, now the moment of truth. With the second coat of paint dried, see if you can tell which side of the shelf has the grain filler and which side doesn't. The side with the grain filler looks like painted slate and the side without it has all kinds of grain visible. And trust me, you can't fix that by just adding more paint. All right, so just to recap those steps, first you got to fill the grain. Don't skip that step because that's what's going to get you the professional results and get your project off to a good start. Secondly, oil-based primer to seal back the color and the tannins in the oak. And third, you hit it two to three coats of a good quality uh, enamel paint. Look for something that says cabinet cabinet and trim paint, that's going to give you that self-leveling capability and the really smooth glassy uh, surface quality. Let me know down below if you have questions. I'll do my best to answer anything I can. I hope you'll hit like uh, on this video, subscribe to the uh, Toolmetrics channel, come back for more woodworking, DIY, and tool related videos. Thanks for watching.